Okay. Hello, hello. Hi, Stacy. Oh. Oh. I just had a butt catastrophe. Both of my jars of one is paint water, one is glue water. Both ended up on the floor on my carpet because of my butt. Oh. Whew. All right. Now, let's back you up and bring you this away a little bit. And you're still going to put a glare on my desk. Oh, yeah. Now, how come I have a glare on my desk and I didn't used to? Oh, well. All right, where's my book? Here's my book. Ah. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's why there was no glare before, because my book was there. Whew. Uh, I guess I'm a couple of minutes early. I'm going to go fill my drink before everyone starts coming in. I'll be right back. It was Jaws. So let's turn the volume of that down. Okay. Hi, Calico Kate. Hi, Kathy. I was just explaining to Stacy, I just had a butt catastrophe. And I had two jars of water, and my butt hit them, and they fell down to the ground on my carpet. So, that's why I'm out of breath. I was running around trying to clean that up. All righty. I'm getting ready. I should have been ready by now, but okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All right. These are the these are the beginning. Break the page. Most everybody said, "I wish I had color down here before I could do anything else," because I don't know what else to do without the color. So that's how I do my prompts. I start with color. Okay. There. Those are shooken. Shooken? Shoveled? Shuffled. There we go. Shooken. Yeah. They yeah, are completely shoveled. Okay. It's only 7.01. Okay. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes, Kathy, for people to come in. Let's see. I don't get them mixed up. Whew. Okay, I caught my breath now. Oh, my goodness. So how was your day today, Kathy? Oh. 
I keep having a lot of switching around to do when I go live by myself or I go live with Stacy or I go live by myself doing bead work. I have three different stations and trying to remember <laughs> what I do for each one to make me right side up and 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 left to right. <laughs> Uh, well, hmm, peeps must have other things they're doing tonight. Yum, and that's okay. So I'm going to get started anyway, because I want to try and be done by 8 o'clock, 8.15 at the very latest tonight. You'll be right back. Oh, okay, I'll wait for you to come back. Okay. Hi, Pam. How are ya? I'm waiting for Kathy Cowell to come back. Did you do any sewing today, Pam? Or any crocheting? Moon knitting, that sounds interesting. Moon knitting sounds very interesting. Ganesh got me up early this morning. Yes, it's all your fault, baby girl. It's all your fault I'm yawning. No way. Yes. All your fault. But I should say I love you anyway. Yeah. No matter what. I still love you. Yes, I love you. Yes. Oh. Hi, Sherry. And Kathy's back. Okay, good. I'm going to get started. And prompt number one. Is everybody ready to start, by the way? I said I'm going to get started, but is everybody ready to start? Is everybody, anybody playing along? Okay, ready, Stacy, <laughs> my secretary. Prompt number one is add copper. Add copper. So I have copper, but it's in the other room, so I will have to get it just one moment.
Jasmine. Hi, Jazzy. Crump number one. Add copper. <sighs> My copper sounds kind of solid. Yucks. Oh, here it goes. It's it's mixing. And oh dear. Let's get that off of there. I get a little finger thingy. And now I get a finger dauber but is that what I want to do what do I want to do with the copper do I want to use a finger dauber do I want to spread it with a card yeah I want to use a finger dauber that's the first thing I picked so I'll make There's that. that. There, I have added copper. Okay. Hi, Diana. How are you? We've only done prompt number one. If you want to join along, add copper was prompt number one. Okay, prompt number two, what did I do with mine? Okay, prompt number two. Is add turquoise. Add turquoise, prompt number two is add turquoise. The prompts are for creating art. What we do, what I do, is I draw a prompt and on a piece of paper, you do whatever that prompt says to do. So for instance, the first one said, use copper. So I went and I got some copper paint and used some finger daubers and put copper paint on my paper. You could have copper foiling that you want to put on your paper. You could have a copper piece of paper you want to tear up and glue down on. The, the, just so long as you use the color copper, you do whatever you want to your page. Now, the second prompt is add turquoise. So again, so long as it's turquoise, So long as it's turquoise, you can do whatever you want to your page, so long as it's turquoise. Let's see, do I have any turquoise fabric? I have fabric with turquoise in it. Mm. 
I have fabric with turquoise in it. What do I have for turquoise in here? Do I have anything else for turquoise in here? No, oh, that's aqua. Oh. I think that's all I have for turquoise in here is that turtle fabric. Anything else I have is aqua. So, I'm going to use the aqua fabric that has a little turtle on it. Oh, that's fine. I won't do any of the colors. I don't have anything else to do. I'm putting drills that came in my diamond painting kit into the two bags. Ah! I just finished doing some diamond painting a little while ago, and then someone else came. So this notification came up that they were going live and I panicked and thought I was too late for my for my prompt along. <laughs> okay, so I need to glue that down. So I'm going to let's see, do I want to do it there? In the middle? I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna keep it right where I started to put it, which is my first choice, right there. Right there. Lower this way a little bit more. Just like that. So I did some diamond, some more diamond painting this morning when I was on Stacy's channel with her. And then I finished up with my PSS and I had lunch. I had an Italian sandwich, which is similar to a sub for those of you who don't know what an Italian sandwich is. And then I went and did some more diamond painting. And I got so involved with my diamond painting, I lost track of time. So Stacy has to put hers in little bags too. I was very lucky. My diamond painting actually came with. I don't know what I did with it right offhand. It's around here somewhere. 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 Probably fell off the table. And onto the floor. And Is that fish? There it is. I show you, I show you. I was very lucky that all of mine actually came in little bags. They already came in little Ziploc baggies. It is very convenient. You just got dinner in the oven? Ooh, what's for dinner, Pam? Okay, I'm done with the colors. Now we're doing these. Okay, prompt number three is add curvy line. Prompt number three is add curvy line. I have that's a, I have some papers, some scrappy papers right here. That I can cut. A couple of strips and 
I will put them down and those will be my wavy lines. Or you could just take a magic marker and draw wavy lines on your page. I'm going to put one like that. And I'm going to put maybe one like that. Maybe I'll put them both like that. Ooh, yeah. Put them both like that. Diagonally. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and corn. Well, I like the mashed potatoes and corn. My mother was a horrible cook, and she cooked everything till it was shoe leather. And when it came to meat. And so I never liked her meatloaf. And then other people used to say, oh, well, try my meatloaf. I'm a much better cook than your mother, which my mother became a very good cook. But in the beginning, when I was little, she was terrible at it. And I've tried other people's meatloaf thinking, oh, OK, well, I will probably like it then if it doesn't taste like shoe leather. And I just don't like meatloaf. Yeah, I've had it eight ways to Sunday now, and I just, I'm not a meatloaf person. I wish I liked it because so many people out there do like it. I wish it was one of those foods I liked because it's an easy enough thing to make. But it's just not my thing. So I'm going to put my curvy lines on and I'm going to put them both diagonal right there just like that and there that will be good enough for that that's easy enough just took it out of the freezer. Oh, Stouffer's meatloaf. Okay, next prompt. Whoops. I said that was prompt number four, but you know what? I think that's prompt number three. One was copper, two was turquoise, three was wavy lines, curvy lines. Yeah, that was prompt number three. This is going to be prompt number four. I made a mistook. I should have just paid attention to Stacy. I should have just. I should have, should have. This prompt says, use ink. Use ink. Hmm. Now, that could be an ink pen. It could be an ink spray. It can be pigment ink. It can be calligraphy ink just so long as it's ink so what I think I will use is my ink spray getting tired of picking the same old pink one. So I'm looking a little further and this is orange, which goes well enough because there's orange in the turtles. So I'm going to spray a couple of sprays of my ink spray. Maybe. There, now my page is, is called Sharpie orange. Ooh. Heat tool alert, heat tool alert. there. Okay. 
Is everybody that's playing ready? I forgot to get a head count. I asked some one person if they were doing it and they said no, but I forgot to ask anybody else. Okay. Number five is, is that clear to you guys or is it still blurry? It looks blurry. Die cuts. Die cuts. There we go. So I have a great big box of those. What am I going to use? I will use some doilies. Do I have any fresh ones or are these just the same old? Same old, same old that I need to. Yeah, I'm going to use some little doilies. I still have some of those really nice ones. Die cuts, doilies, and. Hmm, do I want to use a couple of flourishes? Yes, I do. Here's one. And here's a doily. Here's a doily with a curvy line. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There. Die cuts. So let's see, I'll point this doily here, and this flourish here. This is going to be a Mod Podge of stuffes. Maybe I'll put this doily on the edge, and this flourish. Nope, I liked it the first way. Yep, I like it the first way. So we put a little doily over here. This way. Like that. And then this flush will go here. Like that. Like that. There. There. Die cuts. And Add a decorative paper clip. Add a decorative paper clip. Well, I don't have any more. Yes, I do. I have this paper clip that's decorated with some camouflage. So there's nothing more than just doing this, and it actually makes a tab as well, unless I put it behind this way. Where is it? Like that. There we go. There. There's my decorative paper clip. Are you going to have to make a decorative paper clip, Stacey? <laughs> or do you have some? <laughs> okay. 
Number seven. Number seven. Number seven is frame something in your art. Oh, okay. Well, let me get up my die cuts again. I have a few frames. I don't know how big they are. Probably not very. Let's see. Um. Well, this is the biggest one I have. And I can... Oh, I can frame a turtle. Look at that. I can frame a turtle. There. I'll frame, or do I want to use this one? No, I want to do this one. I frame a turtle. Or do I want to do this one? Ooh, okay. I got a question now. Y'all need to help me here. One or two? One. There's one. Or it can go this way, I guess. Or two. Y'all need to help me. I can't decide. Stacy says one. Okay. Oh, and Diana says one. Pam says one. Sherry says one. Well, I guess we're going with one. Thank you very much for your help. On now I need your help. Do I want the purple up top? Or do I want the orange up top? Purple? It is a good contrast. But do I want the purple on top or the orange on top? Purple. Purple on top? Okay. Purple on top. Purple on top. All righty. Purple on top. Then we will put the purple on the top. Actually, that color is, if I put it near purple, it looks pink. And if I put it near pink, it looks purple. So... I don't know what color it is, but that color on top. Well, that worked out pretty good. Let's see now. Do I need to dry that? Is it getting... No, it's good. Okay. Well, so far these prompts have been easy. I haven't really had to think about them too, too much. Okay. Stacy, I 
even threw the draw dragonfly out. So what did I pick? I picked add a dragonfly. <laughs> Just think that won't come around again until next month. Because <laughs> I don't put these prompts back in. I leave them all in a pile. So the following month. And then I add them all back in. So, <laughs> dragonfly. I need to go get a dragonfly stencil. So... Oh. Well, I thought I could find it quick and I can't. So now I gotta hunt. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh, it was right on top underneath that stuff. That's why I couldn't find it. I'll be glad when I get my dragonfly die cut. Die, I should say. Okay, dragonflies. Uh, how about yellow? Or what about green? Or... Oh my goodness. What color? Maybe I should make them copper to go with the copper dots. Uh, red. Okay. Red. Red. Okay. Whoa, that was a lot of bit of red. I think, yeah, I have some painted papers over there. All right, let's see. Let's put one here. Okay, so there's one there, and we'll put one here, one here, 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 one there. Right there looks good. One there, and let's do one going straight up this way. Wow, those little sponges drink up a lot of paint. All right, 
doesn't look good. There we go. All right, I have added dragonfly. I wonder why it was on the top. <laughs> there, I have added dragonfly. Add a dragonfly. Now, I think I want to. Ah, never mind. I added the dragonfly. That's good enough. All right, now I need a piece of painting paper. All right. Thanks, prompt. What are you questioning, Stacy? Next prompt is add texture. Okay. Add texture. Add texture. Um, okay, my texture thing is over there. There we go. Little dots of texture. Okay, we'll put some over here. Yes, it certainly could be something embossed. It can be texture paste, it can be a um, it could be a three-dimensional butterfly or a flower or some three-dimensional sticker. It could be texture paste. If you don't have texture paste, then it could be any of those other things that I just said. But I haven't used texture paste in a while, and I want to use some. So I think I'm going to put some here. Just like that. And maybe a little bit down here. Like that, and maybe a little bit up here. Like that. Back on. Back on. Back on. Back on. 
water. Okay, I gotta get my dryer to dry that. Oh, we only have one more. Okay, and two alternates. One more and two alternates. Let me dry this. Okay, I used to have texture paste that went on purple and when I dried it, it would dry white so I would know it was dry and this, well, it feels dry. It feels pretty dry. Okay, so we have, hi Ma, how you doing? So I have one more, this one was fun, I like this one, it was just all happy fun stuff. I like this one. And this one says, use a household stamp. Now, a household stamp is anything you can find around your house that will make a mark. So you have, let me show you what I have for household stamps. Everybody's popular favorite is bubble wrap. And I have a few more, hold on. Them. Let's see, I have this awesome button that Stacy sent me and it came apart. It comes apart into two different pieces. This one comes apart into two different pieces. The other one came apart. I don't know what I did with the other half of it. So you can stamp a button. I found this piece of metal hardware. It makes four straight lines as a mark. That's a stamp or two straight lines on the other side if you want to do it that way. Or it makes a U-shaped mark. If you want to do it that way, that's a stamp. A cover, a lid off of a juice, off of your glue stick, off of a milk jug, a cover makes circles, that's a stamp. The bottom of a soda can, uh, not a soda can, a bottom of a soda bottle makes a little flower, that's a stamp. Uh, how about, <laughs> this, this used to be one of my favorites too. This is the, um, the screw to a, uh, a uh, faucet outside that goes on your house and it makes a flower stamp. Um, what else do I have that makes stamp marks? I found, oh, this is, if you want to make little square marks, this is a um, Jenga block. Um, all kinds of things that make marks. This actually, this. And these are parts of, um, are parts of uh, syringes. They have a hole at one side and a smaller hole on the other side. So they make good stamps. 
whatever you can, the top of a nail polish bottle. This one makes a square. That makes a good stamp. That's a household stamp. So those are all different suggestions of household stamps. Now, which one am I going to use? I think I'm going to use, I'm going to stick with the dots and circles thing, and I'm going to use, um, I don't know, do I want to use these three dots, these little dots, or big dots? I think I want to make big circles. Big, big, um, a circle of circles. I could make a circle of circles. Oh, yes, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll use this button and make a circle of circles. Okay, so I'm going to do my paint again. And this time I'm going to use, I'm going to use, oh, I can't do this without popping. There we go. Okay, I can't pop this. Now we did. All right. Now I'm going to use yellow. Bright, sunshiny yellow. Whew. Not much yellow left. Okay. So this is going to make some yellow dots right here. And some yellow dots on top of the copper dots there. And some yellow dots in the center of the doily there. And we'll make some yellow dots down here. Some yellow dots down here. And some yellow dots right here. And I'm going to redo these yellow dots because they didn't all come out right. There we go. And right here. That's going to be fun. I'm going to do it on texture and on this. Ah, came out pretty good. All right. That looks good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. All right. Put that in the water to clean it off. Now, penny paper. Wipe the paint off. Oh, nice smear. I'm just going to wipe the paint off there like that. Pull the, make an ink blot out of it. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has all my little fingerprinties in it. Ha, 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 ha. Looks a little dendritic. Okay, put that over there. That was 10, wasn't it? That was 10. Okay, so the two. <laughs> okay, and now the two alternates. So Stacy can, can put those on there. The two alternates are add a musical lyric or use colored pencil. So add a musical lyric or colored pencil. Those are the two alternates in case any of those prompts you don't have or don't like or don't want to use. There's two different, there's two alternates that you can use instead. <laughs> 50 cents a bottle. Ooh. Purple dry glue. Oh, that's awesome. Those are awesome deals, Mom. So there, let me dry that. That was fun. That was always fun, but this one was just kind of, this one has no rhyme or reason to it. It just is and the colors are fun. Thanks for suggesting red for the dragonfly. 
Thanks for suggesting red for the dragonflies, Stacy. I like that pop of red right all over that page. Now, what I want to do before we move on, I need, if you can find, I need, I need one of these. Okay, and I'm going to use my green paint because I want my texture to be colored, and I forgot to color it before I put it on. So, I'm going to use a little finger dauber and just a smidge of, of blue, no, not of blue, of paint. And I'm just going to lightly do the surface and allow the paint to just kind of brush up against the texture without going all the way down to the paper. There, so now the texture shows up. Just lightly, lightly, lightly. Don't need to tap it very hard. Yeah, I forgot to add a little bit of paint to my texture paste. I just took it right out of the can and I was like, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to color it first. There. Now the texture looks like something. <laughs> there. Now the texture shows up. It looks like something now. I'm happy about that. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, I don't have time. Oh, crap. Okay. Don't have time for an impromptu because I wanted to leave at 8 or 8.15 at the latest. And even if I leave at 8.15, we... All week, you're going to think about that discount. <laughs> need to adult a while? <laughs> okay. I need to go get something to eat. Bye, Kathy. And, um, yes, I need to go get something to eat. And I will be back at 9 with um, a stitch tutorial. And this stu stitch stu <laughs> this stitch tutorial will include seed beads and bugle beads. So I hope I can see you back at 9 o'clock. If not, have a great rest of your week, or I'll see you in chat sometime. So, bye for now, meow. <laughs>